An inspiring new documentary about a Pakistani teen shot by the Taliban over her fight for education. I want people to learn from the experience I had. My father only gave me the name Malala. He didn't make me Malala. Nobel Prize winner Malala Yousafzai is sharing her message in He Named Me Malala. Director and producer Davis Guggenheim joins us live with more on his inspiring film. Good morning, yeah. sir. Welcome Hi, uh, Davis. to our show this morning. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, Sharon. Uh, Davis, why did you choose a Malala as a subject for your documentary? Well, I have two daughters, a 14-year-old and a 9-year-old, and uh, I see them wanting to speak out, but also have being sort of shy sometimes. And this girl is so courageous that I wanted to make a movie for every girl all over the country to be inspired to use their voice and raise their voice for, for girls' education. Looks like your team got to spend a lot of time with Malala and her father. Uh, what, was, what, would, what is Malala like in person? Well, you know, I didn't know who I was going to meet. I'm, uh, I'm a guy from L.A., and uh, here's this Muslim family living in Birmingham, England. They're also from Pakistan originally, and they're just the most lovely people. They're, they're just like my family. They're, they, they tease each other. They arm wrestle, and, mm -hmm. and she's just an ordinary girl, but she became heroic because she spoke out for her school, and, um, and she risked her life, and now she's this great world icon, and she's an inspiration to my daughters, and my thought was that girls around the country could go see this movie, bring their parents, and, and be inspired. So she was targeted by the Taliban, and I'm, I'm curious to know, I assume that she probably is still uh, somewhat of a target. You spent 18 months with her and her family. Did you ever fear for your own life at times, being around her? No, I travel with her to Jordan and to Nigeria, uh, to Kenya, also all around the, the country here. She's just, um, she's a remarkable person. And I think sometimes when you look at a movie like this, you think, well, this is going to be sort of a, um, a chore to watch, a documentary. But it's actually really kind of heartwarming. And it's a, it, um, people who see this movie are very inspired to go. It's, uh, it's the kind of thing where you can bring the whole family and really learn about the other part of the world. What is Malala's life now like? Well, she's a student first. You know, she wants to do really well in school so she can go to university. But she's also a voice for all these girls out there who don't have a voice. There are girls, there are 66 million girls all around the world who are not in school. And she feels like they are going through exactly what she went through. And she's uh, an advocate for them. So she has a thing called the Malala Fund. Mm -hmm. And so on one day, she's a student. And on her days off, she's um, out there fighting for other girls all around the world. Well, you know, Davis Guggenheim is an Oscar-winning uh, director for Inconvenient Truth, Waiting for Superman. He's uh, done uh, countless other projects yeah. in uh, Hollywood. And thanks for being with us this yeah, morning. We thank appreciate you. It. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. He Named Me Malala is showing in theaters now everywhere.